Matthew Kittle, Brad Gallard, the Peter Kittle Motor Racing Off-Road Team. Welcome to Griffith. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. First time in this part of the country? Yeah, I, um, 12 years ago I raced here when there was a race uh, back with one of the first trucks I had, so, but I uh, haven't been back since, so looking forward to it. This is my first time here at the race. Um, the team's raced here previously with a couple other drivers, but yeah, the first time that I've managed to get here, so looking forward to it. Matthew, you've taken over brother Andrew's vehicle. Yeah, yep, he's let me uh, drive it this year, so um, he's unable to make it due to work commitments, so I've got a two car set up this year so I can get to a lot more races, which is good. And this is a pro, can you tell us some of the specs? Uh, yeah, so it's got a um, V6 twin turbo, a Toyota Orient engine um, with twin turbos on it, so um, plenty of power. Gets me through all the rough stuff pretty quick. So. You're keeping horsepower under wraps? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, something we like to keep under lock and key, yeah. Very good. And what's this vehicle done? Uh, so this has come in 2010 and Andrew drove it for two years after uh, for that, two years, and um, he's raced the championship series as well as a few local rounds down in SA. So um, it's done a quite, quite a lot of work. It's probably its best result was a second place at Fink in 2011. Oh, that, and, and your history? Uh, so I navigated for my brother um, in 2011 and then was driving for the previous three years. So this will be my third year in the car. And um, yeah, hoping to make some noise this year and get a few good results. Brad, you've certainly thrilled many crowds around the country driving trophy trucks with your magnificent style. You've now been um, welcomed to the Peter Kittle team. Yeah, absolutely. Um, first year driving with Peter this year, so it'll be good to uh, give this new truck a good run. And uh, my truck's been left home in the shed, and um, I can't wait to get some miles in this one, that's for sure. And can tell us the specs on this vehicle. When did it arrive? Look, it came in in 2012. Um, it had a V6 turbo engine in it then, and uh, Dave Fellows pedalled it there for a little while. Um, since then, there's been an engine change, and it's gone to a NASCAR spec TRD engine. So, uh, a V8, obviously. So, um, you know, I love my V8s and uh, can't wait to hear this thing roar. Are you allowed to release the horsepower? No, that's under lock and key as well with TRD, <laughs> but uh, it's certainly, uh, put this way, it's got a little bit more than mine. How about that? So. And, uh, practice? Have you had any miles in the vehicle? Yeah, I've done a few Ks in it, but um, you know, this, this weekend will be you know, more of a shakedown for us and uh, get some seat time in it and get comfortable in it. And, but, you know, um, with the little short run that I did have in it, I didn't feel comfortable. And certainly, I believe it's going to be you know, a quick truck. Fantastic. So two car team for the year for 2015, kicking off here at Griffiths. Yep, absolutely. And uh, yeah, we've got a full program. And uh, so, yeah, so we're doing you know, the ARB series and the Australian Off-Road Championship and much racing as we can do and just uh, get as many, much seat time as we can in the, in the vehicles and, uh, and get them up to speed and get them up to point in as much as we can, for sure. Fantastic. Now, the team's based out of Adelaide. Uh, preparation for both of these? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's a very good workshop there that uh, it's all done in, and uh, we spend a bit of my guys have come down and spend a bit of time there as well as. Uh, yeah, we've got a good crew behind boys. us. We've got a good, good bunch of guys that are working full time. We've got two blokes on it um, every day of the week, so it takes a lot of work to get these cars in the condition that they're in. Guys, with the calibre of this team, you could go first and second outright. Look, you know, we're always going to push up to the front as much as we can, and, um, you know, I think that. Uh, Maybe uh, you know if we did come across each other and uh, there was a bit of bumping and rubbing, well, I think that would be allowed. So we're yeah, looking forward to uh, getting out there and mixing as much as we can. And if we get the first and second, have we got team orders? Not at all. Whoever's in front just got to hold it on and try and get there first. It'll be a race to the finish, that's for sure. And whoever's behind might start back, back, <laughs> banging into the back end of the other one to try and get in front, I guess. So <laughs> no, it's, uh, we're definitely both competitive and uh, looking forward to. Um, you know, just uh, getting out there and having a good clean run this weekend and getting some miles on the car and seeing where we end up. And I'm sure you'll hope this wind keeps up because it looks pretty dusty out there. It's very dusty out there at the moment, so hopefully the wind sticks around. There's a few tree sections that it's going to hang around anyway, so it's um, prologue's going to be important today. In an open run, open wheat field, what sort of speeds could you be achieving? I'll be aiming to hit around 220. Around that top speed there at 220. So, yeah, I think the truck will be a bit under that. It's just got a lot more wind to push. Um, so I guess if we see you know, somewhere up near 210, we'd be very happy. But uh, yeah.